Connecticut's top Republicans are pushing for reforms now to the state's absentee ballot laws. The calls come on the heels of four arrests in Bridgeport on ballot fraud charges related to the 2019 Democratic mayoral primary. News 8 political contributor Mike Cerulli has the details. Four arrests five years after the 2019 Bridgeport Democratic mayoral primary are putting the focus back on decades-old concerns about the conduct of elections in Connecticut's largest city. The four defendants are all charged with illegally possessing other voters' absentee ballots. Three are charged with witness tampering. Those arrests and similar alleged conduct caught on tape in 2023 have made national headlines. It is truly embarrassing for our state. We've made national news once again. Uh, we are on all the cable networks being discussed across this country. And frankly, it's an embarrassment. Harding and his fellow Republicans announced Thursday that they want Governor Lamont to stand up a state commission focused on election security. Lamont said he's open to the idea, but emphasized that the work of an existing legislative committee did result in a new state law that requires cameras on all absentee ballot drop boxes and speeds up the prosecution of ballot crimes. I don't see any great harm in it. I'll, I'll take a look at that. You know, like I said, we have a GA committee. I think they did a lot. They did a lot in this last session. I like the cameras. I like we're able to trace the absentee ballots. I particularly like the fact that we're able to bring charges if there's any malfeasance on a timely basis. The top Senate Republican on that committee said the bill passed this year is still not enough. It is a step in the right direction, but this is typical of the majority. They recognize that there's a real problem. They recognize that there is some interest uh, by the public uh, in resolving it. But instead of actually addressing the issue, they do, you know, something around the edges. Sampson called for measures like voter ID and signature verification for absentee ballots. But top Democrats in the state Senate argue those measures would restrict residents' ability to exercise their right to vote. They also say the proposals are no surprise from a political party that tried to overturn a presidential election and passes draconian voter restrictions across the country. Steve Harding pushed back hard on those attempts to tie him to national figures like Donald Trump, who deny the result of the 2020 election. He again pointed toward Bridgeport. An apolitical Connecticut judge said it was so egregious they had to order a new election, unprecedented in our state. So what we're saying here is whatever happens outside of Connecticut happens outside of Connecticut. We need to fix our problems here. And as for the situation in Bridgeport, we expect to see the four suspects in the 2019 case in court on Monday. Reporting at the state capitol, Mike Cerulli, News 8.